Bourbon Heads, Casey Peterson coming back at you with another review under quarantine. Hope everyone's staying safe out there. Let's get into it. Today, um, we've got one that is uh, suggested by our viewers multiple times, to be, uh, to be frank. Um, don't know whether this is a, uh, because you guys want to see something back from your college days, but here's what we got. Old Granddad Bottle and Bond. Now, for those of you who haven't heard of this, this is frequently used at bars to do um, shots with a beer for $5. It's not a very high rent bourbon, um, hence the name Old Granddad. Um, but let's talk about bottled and bond for a fun fact. So bottled and bond means that it's bottled at 100 proof, which means it's 50% alcohol, so pretty relatively high proof. It's aged for at least four years, and it's bottled with the same distiller at the same distillery in the same season. So all that means is you're kind of restricted to a certain quality of bourbon. So typically, whenever you see bottled and bond on a bottle, you'll see here it says bonded right there. You're going to get a nice quality of the version of bourbon that you get. Otherwise, it's kind of up to the distiller's discretion. So we'll leave you with that. Now, old granddad um, may or may not taste great, so we'll get into the review here. But let's start with the color. But we'll first pause for cork pop. All right. All right, let's see what we got here. Now that actually looks pretty nice in the glass. It's not, uh, wow, it's, it's a little darker than I thought it would be. It's not too light, but a little light, kind of like caramel for apples, maybe on a Sunday, who knew? Uh, looks good in the glass. Let's look at the nose. Wow. All right. Uh, the apple theme continues. I get a little bit of fresh cut grass like you just mowed your lawn. And then I also get um, like like apples in, in, that, in that nose right there. Apples. Um, cherries for sure. Um, doesn't burn in the nostrils as much as I would expect. All right, well, when you inhale deeply, that, that is, in fact, what it does. All right, let's get into the taste. You know, it's not as bad as I was expecting it to be. It's still not great. Um, the finish is very short. You do get that Kentucky hug that I mentioned uh, before that we like, um, but... Otherwise, it's not very complex. It does. I do get a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of cherries, but what mostly comes through on the taste is a very big spiciness. Uh, I do not mind this bourbon. It's not uh, as bad as people suggest, so um, I would actually give this one a, a one thumbs up plus a half. Um, it, I, I wouldn't mind drinking this. I'll probably try it in, a, uh, in an old fashioned rather than just drinking it straight and sipping it neat. It's not super bad and it's actually really well priced. It's only $20, so can't go wrong with that anyway, especially under quarantine. I mix the old granddad in an old fashioned and an old taste pretty old well. <sighs> mix it, don't sip it. You heard it here first. Cheers.